In this video, I'm going to go over some basic operations of how to use a spree. Uh, this isn't going to be really uh, specific to EDMing. This is going to be uh, just your, your basic you know, mouse clicks and a couple of functions. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I am not an expert in using a spree. I typically do most things in SolidWorks. Uh, uh, I, a spree is a very powerful camming software that I am ba barely scratching the surface of its capabilities. Um, but to get started, the first thing is just kind of our mouse operation. So how you move around is a uh, wheel will zoom in and out, uh, wheel click will translate and holding down control and wheel click will rotate. Um, if you click on one of the axes, um, and rotate, um, you can rotate about that axis, or if you're just in space, you can rotate about that point. Uh, this tab will allow you to change your view, so top or front, uh, and that will become more obvious as I make parts. Um, so here, over here, oh, actually, uh, we'll talk about your left click is select. Uh, I'll come back to this as I add uh, components to show you the select. And right click is a menu that uh, with some options. Here is where you can add geometries. Uh, mostly what we'll probably be stuck uh, sticking with for EDMing are points or line segments or trimming, but just going through a couple. Uh, so to add points, there's a bunch of different things you can use. So snap or intersection. So this is uh, snap will try and decide where you might want to add it. So for instance, with the origin, see how it's giving me that symbol. It thinks that we are close enough that it wants to put it at the origin. So that put that point right at the origin. Or what you can do is go to Cartesian or Polar. Um, I'll go with Cartesian. So what this does is allows me to put a point um, at this Cartesian point. So we'll put one at negative 2, 2, and we'll put one at 2 and 2. Apply. OK. So zoom out. Oh. Oh, right. Uh, sorry, uh, bear with me, but honestly, that's kind of a, uh, a good lesson to learn is I was, uh, in the front plane or the left plane either when, but I was in the front plane, so I couldn't see my points to two. They're actually over here. And, uh, I was looking here and not seeing the Y move, and that's because I was in the wrong plane. So you can actually see the points two and two, but it's on the wrong plane. So let's go back to the top. Uh, now you can see my point uh, there and there. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a rectangle using two points. So once again, I get that symbol, which basically snaps it to that and there. So now I've created a rectangle with that. And uh, what I want to do is I want to, we're going to create a pyramid to kind of show you uh, some of the other features. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a point at the origin, but I'm going to put it uh, raised up. So we'll just go uh, to two in the Z axis. So we see that point, but if I now go to the front, you see that it's actually up in the air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, connect a line segment from there to that point, and, and it is snapping these points. Hopefully it's not snapping to the origin, actually. Yep, so we're snapping to the point I want. I'm going to create another one here to here okay and now what we have is ah so <laughs> that did not do what I wanted uh, so maybe we'll do it like this so that it'll have a better guess so that was snapping to the origin there we go. Now it is doing what I want. Uh, so to select, I'm doing that left click uh, to highlight it. 
Boom. And boom. So now I've created a pyramid. Um, control and wheel click to rotate. So now if we want to do kind of some select features, uh, so if you just left click, you'll select one segment. If you uh, drag, uh, it'll select everything that's connected in that box. And then if you hold down shift and you uh, do a left click, it'll select everything that's connected. Um, one thing also, so, uh, so here we see that there is a point uh, and a line and another line. So I think that it always selects the point, uh, which is nice. Or if you want to, you can go to this high um, feature, which what that does is it asks you, it has this question mark and it basically asks you if this is what you want to select. Um, if you click uh, left click again, it'll highlight it. And now you have it selected right now. It's not selected. This is kind of useful. If you have a lot of things in one spot, you can left click. And then what you can do is right click and it'll cycle through everything that's there. And then if you left click again, it'll highlight it. Uh, I only use this, uh, when, like I said, I have a lot of things in one area and it's hard to select that point or something like that. So typically, and the template normally has this off, but just to let you know, it's there. Um, other thing about this area is you notice, uh, here we can see where my mouse is, uh, but notice that it is rounding to the nearest template. If you turn off grid, now it just uh, does it anywhere. It, it goes to the nearest hundredth uh, or thousand, actually four decimal points. Um, yeah, I think uh, that is honestly the main features. Uh, oh, actually, I'll, I'll go over a couple more. Um, so there is... Uh, one feature that is trim, which basically just trims the segment that you click on, um, which can be pretty useful. Uh, you can also add points and it'll trim between those points. Um, so for instance, if I add a point on these line. So the snap will snap it to the line, which is where I want it to be on. And then if I do trim, it'll trim between the two points rather than take the whole segment, uh, which is also useful. And then we can add it back in with our segment feature again. Um, I guess just for fun, I'll go over arcs uh, where you can, there's a bunch of different ways. There's a two point arc, three point. One is you just select the midpoint uh, and then you can click on a point and click on another point um, and you'll create an arc. Um, and then uh, this is actually just keep this one. So um, I'm not sure actually what will happen with this. Oh, that's interesting. I'm not exactly sure what happened with that. Um, I'd have to play around with that more. But essentially, uh, these are the main things that you're going to use for, and this, this is honestly everything that you'll need to make EDM cam. Uh, so hopefully this helped a little bit. Um, and thanks for watching this video.